so it's a lazy day today. <coughs> you okay, big guy? You okay? <laughs> it's a lazy day today for me anyway. I am exhausted. I am not used to going out every day and going to the ranch and all of that stuff, but I am very much enjoying it. I really am. And um, Mom brought me over soup already today, and Kevin's brother Ed is in town. Yep. And him and Ed, Kevin, Ed, and his their mother went for lunch. And yep. I fell back to sleep. <laughs> so, um, I was watching The Big Bang Theory, but I fell asleep during that. So, I'm going to do, just relax today and do some coloring. Kirstie's going to come over and watch Walking Dead, and then we're going to go to the ranch uh, after that. Um, the ranch has some weird vibe thing that goes on after 10. And, um, yeah, it's a little strange. But I'm not going to go into details. We're just going to, um, maybe not tonight, but another night, um, when we have more time, we're going to take the K2 over, K2 meter over, and the voice recorder over, and we're just going to kind of walk around and see what we can okay. feel and hear and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, it's a little strange, because the horses the other night were all, like, coming to me and, and loving on me and letting me pet them and everything, and last night we were there after 10, and they were all pulling away from me. You just want to sleep. So who's this crazy lady waking me up? No, they, they were awake. <laughs> uh, even Gavion and Paloma were pulling away from me last night. So, it was really strange. It was really strange. <laughs> She's starting to do this. Angel is starting to do the thing when she hears herself howl on the end of every video. She starts to howl Ooh. again. So, yeah, she didn't used to do that, but now she is. <coughs> so, anyway... I'm going to just hang around, relax, watch some news or TV and color. What are you working on today, babe? Uh, I'm going to actually try and build something t today. <sighs> try to, again to better organize uh, the garage. I need an outfeed table for my table saw. And uh, I've got a half sheet of melamine and I'm going to build a stand for it. And so make the table saw permanent in the middle of the room and uh, we should be able to organize a lot better because of it because i'll have a, a shelf underneath it to put my table saw stuff can i talk hmm? nope <laughs> so let's see I'll, I'll bring the camera out and see if i can do that without hurting myself or killing myself please don't hurt yourself or kill yourself I really don't want to go to the hospital, and I really don't want to go to a funeral parlor. <laughs> okay. So, please don't do that. All right. All right. I won't do that. We'll catch you guys later, hopefully all in one piece, both of us. Bye. Okay, so it's taking a really, really long time to, uh, to do everything I want to do in this garage, but I'm taking my time to do it because it's not costing any money. I have everything that I need. It's all here in the garage. But what I want to do today is to build a nice outfeed table for my um, table saw so that I can do long cuts without worrying about it falling or winding. So I'm using, I have this half a sheet of melamine and it needs to be cleaned right now. It looks like I mixed plaster on it at some point so I'll just scrape that off. I'm going to be using the other side though, which is nice and clean. And I will build a frame for it. And I'm not sure which direction this is going to go. Uh, if I want it to be longer, because we have it going longer, and or wider. Depending on the length that I want to cut, or the width of stuff I want to cut. And I, if I could take care of both, if I got a whole sheet, but I don't have that kind of money, 
and I don't have the room so uh, I will put it on a stand and then I'll see which way I like it best and then I need to cut some grooves in the top that match the grooves in my table saw so that I could run tools across the table without hitting the table like this one this one is uh, my sled cross cut sled and uh, it would hit the table if I didn't cut grooves into it and that will probably be the hardest part of this whole thing and I'll just need a router and some way to keep straight lines see how this works out and of course Boomer has found a way to get out here and stalk me as usual righty buddy <sighs> Okay, and to make this table completely adjustable in height, um, I am using some T-bolts, which I just happen to have. And uh, that's these right here. And I'm going to use, let's say this is the bottom of one of the legs. I'm going to put the T-bolt in the middle, drill a hole about three inches, knock that in with a hammer, which is which, how you attach it. And then I uh, use one of these bolts to, uh, as a foot and I can uh, raise it and lower it that way and it's strong enough to hold quite a bit of weight so I'm using that so I didn't get everything done that I wanted to get done as usual but uh, I got the table saw where it needs to be and I put uh, legs on the table saw using that uh, system on the bottom here to uh, make sure it's uh, going to be straight and level. I still have to level it a bit. Not exactly sure if, if this is exactly where I want to put it. But uh, it's nice and solid, which is something I've never had in a long time. Because when you have something this big on wheels, it's, it's just all over the place. So, And uh, I got that done. So now that's done, I could find out exactly how tall my table needs to be and make sure it's level as well as you may know since we're in a garage it does it's lower at the front than it is in the back so there's going to be a uh, like a two percent difference and I have to take that into account hi guys so we are in the car yep we meaning me and my sidekick here Kirsty. And um, Kirsty was bored, so we are going window shopping. At least I'm window shopping. I don't know about her. If she's go good. a little bonkers, I don't know. She, she is bonkers already, so it wouldn't make a difference. <laughs> I see it, I like it, I buy it. Shit. Shoot. <laughs> um, yeah, we're sorry about the uh, missed uh, bleeps last night. But uh, we tried to fix them this morning. Not sure if they did come out or work where we fixed them. But Kevin's been very, very tired lately. So that's why, um, yeah, he uh, kind of missed them last night. Um, We're not even there to wear him out. So I don't even know why he's so tired. Because he's doing more work since I'm not there to keep stopping him. Oh. Yeah. See, he needs me there to give him rest. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, we're just gonna Nicely go. <laughs> we're just gonna go uh, hit a few stores just to. If she buys anything, she buys something. I'm going just to keep her company and wander around, look at Christmas stuff, and yeah, just that's about it. So we'll have some fun with you guys while we're in the store. See you soon. Adios. This would be the type of purse I would need to have when I start riding, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you need matching chaps, though. I'm getting buttless chaps. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just finished at Dee Dee's. Mm hmm. And Auntie Kirsty. I'm parking the wrong direction. <laughs> but I'm not going to be a douche. I'm going to fix it. Straighten my parking. She's a good girl. But Auntie Kirsty bought Angel a little Santa dress. So we're gonna Santa have to pry and try and put that on her to see what she does. 
Not to mention she bought me some stuff too, so. I don't care, it's free. It's not free for her. <laughs> I can't go anywhere with this woman. Look at her. I'm sitting on a big stuffed cat. <laughs> but he's not stuffed enough because he hit the floor when I said that. <laughs> I hope you didn't injure yourself doing it. <laughs> I think I broke my butt bone. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't get up. Oh <laughs> 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 I think Valerie really thinks she's a cat. <laughs> Secretly. I'm flying, Jack. <laughs> Kirsty, I'm flying. You better not fall off of that. I am not kidding. <laughs> okay, she she got off it safely. She's safe. Thank you, Adam. She's okay. <laughs> Kirsty's laying in a sexy position yeah. in the store. Yeah. This trying to really pick up on somebody. Yeah. She keeps looking that way. I wonder who's over there. <laughs> Some guy. I don't want to lay my head on the pillow because I'm afraid that somebody might have lice and now it's on my clothes, but it's not on my head yet. But what if they had bed bugs now? Bed bugs are on your clothes. <laughs> so guys, we finally made it home. We still haven't gone to the ranch yet. <laughs> yeah. Excuse you, I'm trying to talk over here. <laughs> anyway. We just made it home. We haven't gone to the ranch yet, but we had to come home because we got some food. We need to eat. Plus, we wanted to give Kevin the camera so he can start on the video so we can watch The Walking Dead, eat, and then go to the ranch. That's right. She's watching this show. I really want to hear it. Well, you can't, can't. until we're done. I okay. <laughs> Anyway, we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite. Please give us a thumbs up. Please leave us a comment down below. Please share our video with your family and friends. But 